You've heard there's commotion in London, wondering why? Well, there's strikes. Not those kind of strikes, tube strikes, and the biggest since 2002, with members of four transport unions walking out and leaving commuters fending for themselves. How do I get to work? The streets of the British capital have become manic, with travellers acting like animals. Well, not really, but it is very busy, with people choosing to even walk to work. Oh, the humanity. 200 extra buses have been issued to work, but they're no good to anyone when stuck in deadlock traffic. So why are people striking? Yep, you've guessed it. Moolah, Wonga, Cash, Doe, however you say it, it's about money. London is set to introduce the night tube on the 12th of September. Yay for London party people. Not so yay for the tube drivers. Only offered a 2% pay rise, a £500 bonus for all staff and a £2,000 bonus for the tube drivers affected by the night tube. Workers are also annoyed about the conditions surrounding the night tube, the long hours and rotating patterns. It's not a new feud. There is still bad feelings among industries over the closure of ticket offices and 800 job losses. I want my money back. Um, well, this is awkward. TfL says strike action is beyond their control, so won't be issuing any refunds. Hashtag sorry not sorry. When will it end? Well, it's meant to last 24 hours, but don't count on it. With the four unions representing around 20,000 tube workers, it could last even until your working day Friday. So strap on your walking boots or dust off your bike. It's healthier anyway.